Want to know if you can keep jumping spiders together? Watch this video to find out if you can. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am David and today we're going to be talking about keeping jumping spiders together. Can you do so? What circumstances can you? And what circumstances should you not? It's a question that I asked a lot when I first started keeping jumping spiders and I know it's a question a lot of you have. So I thought I'd do a brief video discussing the topic. Now jumping spiders may look cute to us, but they are predators and they are carnivorous. They will eat other insects. And in some circumstances, that would include other jumping spiders. They can be cannibalistic. And one of the worst places in, or environments to keep jumping spiders in pairs or more is sadly in the pet home environment. It is often recommended, and rightly so, that if you have a pet jumping spider, you keep it solitary and on its own. There's nothing wrong with having other jumping spiders nearby in other enclosures, but you do not want to house them together, especially if you're using a standard size jumping spider enclosure, because you will likely find they will eat each other and you will be very sad and you will have a very very full jumping spider that survived and it will not be a good situation so i would strongly encourage you if you are keeping jumping spiders as pets especially if you're new to it that you do keep them solitary because it's much better for them however there are some circumstances where you can keep jumping spiders together and we'll talk about them right now now one of the biggest counter arguments for saying well why can't I keep my jumping spider with others is, I, is people say I see them in the wild, they're all basking together on the same wall, you see them together in the wild. And yeah you will see them together in the wild and some will eat each other, some will ignore them, some will be fully fed, some will just be basking in which case they'll share that space and then move on. The biggest difference between the wild and the home environment is space. There is an awful lot of space in the wild so they can retreat, they can flee, they can go wherever they want and there's loads of space to cohabitate. We don't have that at home, so that's one of the reasons you shouldn't do. So if someone says, oh, I see it in the wild, it's not really a good reason. However, in certain setups, you can keep jumping spiders together because it's simulating a wild environment. Some people have these huge um, setups for sort of multi-species insect enclosures, and we're talking about huge fish tanks. And in that case, you probably could keep a couple of jumpers in there because each will have their own territory. They'll have plenty of food, so they won't really be interested in eating each other because they'll be well fed and there'll be loads of space to retreat to and enjoy. So if you do have a setup like that, massive space setup with loads of different inverts in there, and you know what you're doing, there's nothing wrong with keeping them together in that circumstance. Other special setups may allow you to keep jumping spiders together. It's not something I'm very experienced with, but people have sorts of doors and all sorts of things and contraptions. That's something you could explore on your own if you decide you want to research the topic, especially if you're sort of a pet owner. And if you're keeping your jumping spiders very well fed and in a very large enclosure, again, that will lead to less risk of them eating each other. The final situation where you want to bring your jumping spiders together is if you want to breed them. Again, I don't have much experience of breeding. It's something I will get into into the future because I would love them. So um, I am researching this as well. But generally, you will be able to bring them together for breeding if you've got the right sort of um, timing and they're well fed and full. And then you kind of want to separate them again afterwards because otherwise the female will probably deal with that male if you get my meaning. So for breeding you can bring them together, you've got a nice big space, you've got a special setup or they're very well fed all the time. Those are certain circumstances where they will be okay together, especially for limited periods. So just to summarise the video, if you have a pet jumping spider and you want to keep it with another, my advice would be don't keep them in their own special enclosures. If you have a different sort of circumstances, you're breeding them, you have huge enclosures with loads of different inverts, that's a different circumstance. But the general rule is keep them solitary because they'll be much happier and you'll be much happier too. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to hear from you down below. But in the meantime, take care and see you later.